What I want to show you in this video is how to use the t-shirt showcase mockups in Adobe Photoshop. So when you open up one of these templates, this is what you'll see. Make sure to open your layers panel, that's window layers, and you'll see there's a bunch of different layers in here, and these will allow you to control the mockups and put in your own art. So I'll show you how to do that. So let's go to Adobe Illustrator. I've got an example graphic here from the Rough Seas collection. We'll just copy that and then go back into Photoshop. And you'll see here, there's a layer called double click to add your art. This is a smart object layer. And all you need to do is just double click on this layer thumbnail. That'll open up your smart object. You'll see an example graphic in there. Go ahead and highlight the your art layer and go command V to paste in your art. And what you'll want to do here is tilt it and scale it and orient it roughly to how the example graphic is and just hit return or enter to apply that. Go ahead and also turn off the visibility of the example graphic and go command or control S to save and you can close that. And you'll see here the graphic is now in the mockup. Of course, the type isn't showing up very well because our t-shirt color is, uh, the fabric color is white. So let's change that to change it to black. Black's about the trickiest color to mock up. What you'll need to do is just change your fabric color just to a dark gray. You don't want to go all the way to black because that'll make all the shadows and highlights of the t-shirt fabric disappear. So let's go to like an 80% black there, click OK. And then on the fabric shading levels, double click on that and you can ramp up these sliders to increase the contrast in the fabric. And I think that's looking great. Um, you know, let's mock up just another color just so I can show you real quick. Let's go to say like a medium blue and just play around with it till you get something you like. I'm going to click OK. I think maybe that contrast is a little too much. So let's go back into our fabric shading levels and just ramp that contrast down a little bit. And I think that looks good. Go back into our layers. The other thing you may want to do is add in your own custom neck label. So we have a neck label group here. We'll go back into Illustrator and I've got some neck labels in a product called Label Kit and we'll just choose one of these. I think this one looks really good. So just Command or Control C to copy that. Go back into Photoshop template. Highlight the layer that says your neck label and we'll just go Command or Control V to paste that in. It's automatically clipped out. So if you don't see your neck label, just scale it and move it up into the collar opening area here. And you're also gonna to wanna to orient that so it looks correct in the neck label area and apply that transformation. You're gonna to wanna to turn off the visibility of the existing example graphic. And what I like to do is turn the opacity of that neck label down, it just looks a little more realistic um, and looks like it's printed on the shirt if it's not just completely 100% black. Let me actually just turn that to white. I think that looks really good. The other thing you may notice about our going back to our graphic here is it has some texture in it and that is applied with the magic fabric texture layer. So let me show you that. It's a little hard to see it here, but let me zoom in. This applies some transparent texture to your graphic. If that's too much, if you don't really like how that looks, you can either turn the opacity down just a little bit or down all the way, but I think it looks really good. So we'll, we'll just leave it there at hundred percent and let's go back into this template. The other thing you may want to do is change your background color. Some of these mockups have a little bit of the background showing. So let's double click on that, change it to white change it to gray, maybe maybe even like a red to match some of the red in that snake. And pretty much done there. So we can export this. So I like to go File, Export, Save for Web, 
And then these are gonna look best as JPEG images. And these are 2400 by 2400 pixels, which is way more than enough for, for web. So you may even wanna scale that down to say, I don't know, 1600 pixels. And then just click save. And that's it, thanks for watching.